I made tanks in R, but how good are they really? So I set myself a challenge to beat the island using only tanks. Every cave, oh crap, I've been fit. Every boss, and all resource gathering with taming no creatures. Waking up on the beach, I had a look around and began the run towards an explorer note, since I was going to need experience, and a lot of it, as the first vehicles only unlocked at level 40. Note after note was collected as I ran across the island, getting me up to level 45 until I came across a raptor with no stamina left. Oh, that ends a note run. Respawning next to the swamp. Definitely not a safe place. I need to get somewhere to gear up as I'm going to need a lot of resources to build my first vehicle to help me get around. I found a safe space to punch a tree, pick up a pebble and smash a rock. Made some stone tools and a spear then turned to the nearby dodo. Mrs. Dodo, uh, thank you for your contribution. Oh, uh, your wife, um, she, she went in that direction. Oh, you, you never died. Okay, whoops. Um, not that problem. That's a lot of ingots. Since I can't tame any creatures, I'd really like to get myself to a point where I'm able to get a mining drill, as mining drill is really useful for harvesting tons of resources. It was starting to get dark as I noticed an alpha raptor. I guess I'm moving then. Then as I got further down the beach, I ended up next to the entrance to an artifact cave as I had a realization. I just realized these caves are going to be a problem because I don't think my tanks will be able to fit through there. So all the caves I'm going to have to be doing on foot. Working late into the night, I set up a foundation and forge to begin smelting ingots. I made up some bowlers and parachutes as the sun was rising. Yeah, I am just as surprised as you. I made a smithy and metal pick. I was going to need a ton of metal for the tanks and made my way up the cliff to see if there are any metal nodes only to run straight into a Trudon. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Finish him. Flawless victory, fatality. Respawning, I managed to sneak back past the Trudons and recover my stuff. I need to find somewhere with actual metal nodes. Parachuted back to my single foundation, picked it all up, let's go to Herbivore Island. I bowled and killed a parasol for it's hard to make a raft, and I named it the SS Natural Navy and set sail for Herbivore Island. Wait, no, that's... That's not Pirates of the Caribbean. That's... Oh, uh, what's his name? Ah! There's a giant fish! Not today, lead circus! Can you come in this bay? He can't. Du -du 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 -du. Indiana Jones! That's not Pirates of the Caribbean, that's Indiana Jones! Whoops. I reset up my foundation, forge and smithy, then began to hack at the metal nodes, mining so much metal that I passed out from exhaustion as I woke in a strange new world. Oh, this must be today's sponsor! Rise of Kingdoms is an epic cross-platform strategy game that takes you on an immersive journey through various historical eras. Experience its expansive open world environment where you can explore and conquer new lands. With over 60 million users and 100 million downloads, there are 14 civilizations for you to choose from with famous generals and unique military units that will obey your every command as you fight on the battlefield. Battle in real time on the map, anyone can join or leave a battle at any time with a simple drag to select making it a true RTS experience. All in-game actions take place on a single enormous map inhabited by players and NPCs. No isolated bases or separate battle screens. You'll have full control of the layout of your city with a wide range of aesthetic options. And the brand new civilization just arrived and it's Greece! Featuring exclusive commanders and special units Agra Spides. Adding a new level of excitement to the game, download now and experience it for yourself. Besides, Civilization Clash event held on ROK.games, allowing players to compete for their own civilizations with a chance to win special prizes including the Apple Vision Pro. Download Rise of Kingdoms now by clicking the first link in the description or scanning the QR code on screen or head to ROK.games to participate in the Civilization Clash event. You can also use promo code grease 4 rok for 20 silver keys if you are a new player. Thank you Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring today's video. 
Wait, I wanted to play more, but I guess waking up back in Ark is good too. I broke up the rest of the metal node as the sun rose to signal day three. I started my morning with harvesting more metal as I wanted to get everything I needed in order to make my first vehicle. I bowled and killed two tech parasaurs to use their corpses for electronics, so I now had mostly all the metal and electronics I would need. So I set up some more forges to smell store down and start making a bunch of charcoal for gunpowder. I grabbed the explorer node so that I could reach level 56 in order to unlock flak armor. Made up a full set in the early hours of the morning as well as a Lakota bow. A strong primitive ranged weapon that can deal bleed damage. So this will help keep me safe until I can get some more advanced weapons or my first vehicle. I also made a crossbow and training dummy to test which does more damage. Now while the crossbow deals more, the bleed would be more effective versus higher health dinos. Then climbed on my raft to set off to the artifact cave for crystal. Broke up all the gemstones and headed home. Only thing left now that I needed for my first vehicle is polymer. So that means tomorrow I am heading off to Club Penguin. I made myself a lantern to hang on my belt so I could actually see, then set up some foundations and spikes on my raft and set off. Sailing all along the coast, I ended up getting stuck on a rock. You're kidding me. Is this like the equivalent of getting a flat tire? Yes. And away we go again. <laughs> Eventually, I made it to the frigid temperatures of the north as the sun began to drop lower into the sky. So did the temperatures and hypothermia was creeping in. I was going to need fires in order to stay warm, so I turned to try and brave the shores. Why is there a soccer there? I sprinted to the nearest tree, whacked it twice and sprinted back to the raft as the cold snapped a bone in my leg. I quickly sailed away then set up some torches to warm the air around me before I became an ice cube. I began to sail towards the penguins as a lead took a chunk out of my raft. If I take too many hits like that, my raft will sink and I won't be making it home. So I navigated through the floating ice, parking at one of the largest bergs. I began to snipe the penguins and drag them to the warmth of my raft where I could chop them up. Feeling satisfied with my haul, I hopped back onto the raft to begin the sail home, but there was a big problem. Oh crap. Go away. Stupid fish. Oh, I don't think we can tank another hit. He's coming! No! No! Oh, the ice. Can I have a three up, please? Please. Oh, maybe it thinks I'm on land? Okay, interesting. The ice actually saved me. Although it's gonna come back for me now. It's coming! <laughs> go! Go, boat, go! Micro adjustments to get close to land. <gasps> no! Okay, it's definitely one hit away now. I barely escaped with my raft one hit away from breaking. Navigated through the ice, hugging the shore as close as I could. Took some time to harvest the tree and repair the raft as the sky turned to black signaling night. I am stuck. Again. This, I feel like this happens a lot. Well, considering my goal was to get a vehicle by day 10, I think I'm doing pretty good. That's not meant to happen. It was midday by the time I arrived home in my bay on Herbivore Island. Made my way to my foundation and crafted my very first vehicle. Catch a rat! The Humvee. This speedy four-wheel drive car will be great for traveling across the map. It also has a mounted machine gun, so I will need a consistent stream of ammunition in order to fuel it. 
I named it the Nat V. And it even came with super floaty wheels so I could just zip across the water. I confirmed my suspicions in the morning that the Humvee could not fit into the cave, so I would be needing to do the caves on foot. I had a look at what I needed for the next vehicle, and that would be the helicopter. I was going to need a lot more metal, so I set up a fabricator to work towards an industrial forge. This was going to be an absolute must in order to pump out the number of ingots I needed. I made up some bullets to test out the mounted gun, which easily mowed down some trikes and a Bronto. But this was going to be a very expensive journey for metal and gunpowder. I hacked up the Bronto and trike for hide and meat, then spent the rest of the day harvesting metal, even passing out from exhaustion. Checking what I needed for the mining drill, I was going to have to go on a trial about killing spree to gather the black pearls I needed. I was speeding along the rivers in the morning, destroying beavers' houses for cementing paste, and I also stopped by the Kano Island cave to see if I could fit. Uh-oh. Breaking free, I found a tech parasaur I killed for more electronics, then ramped my way to the green obelisk because I needed to check what artifacts I needed for the broodmother. Clever, hunter, and massive. Let's aim to get those ASAP so we can try fighting the mother of spiders with my Humvee. The day ended with me harvesting some trilobites to try get the black pearls I would need, to get the mining drill I would need, to get the metal I would need, to make the bullets I will need, to kill the enemies I will see. I think I know now why people usually tame dinosaurs in this game. The next day I was harvesting some more crystal from the cave, some obsidian from the mountains and some oil from the beaches. Now I really feel like a member of the American army. I killed off a few more trilobites. Now I was super close to that drill so I should be able to make one in the morning. Searching along the beach for trilobites to harvest for the elusive black pearls. I harvested the last few I needed around midday and began the journey home. Made up the mining drill and damn is the drill a huge upgrade. I got to the top of the Redwoods Mountain in the early hours of the morning for a massive metal run. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gathering thousands of metal. It was so good. All I needed for that industrial forge now was the metal to smelt and even more polymer. I made up some bullets for the Humvee so I'd be able to defend myself or at least deliver some freedom around the Ark. Like this Alpha Raptor got mowed down with freedom. I was able to kill off a couple penguins and chop them up into polymer, but it was getting really cold, so I had to speed out of the snow. They really need to install a heater into this thing. I spotted a purple drop giving me a nice upgrade, as well as a gloves upgrade from the blue drop. Nice! These are going to be super important to survive the temperatures in the caves and the boss arenas. Something I had not fully planned for just yet. The cold must have gotten to me as I realized I didn't have enough polymer, so I was back to Club Penguin, gathered the poly, and got back home to do some harvesting for the rest of the day. I love the mighty drill! It is so good! I started out on day 14 with making a weapon cabinet. I used it to craft a Scar L, the premium freedom delivery tool. I loved it. I was able to bring down some nearby dinosaurs, mowing them down with true freedom, but I needed a lot more metal. So in the evening, I set up an industrial forge. Ow, uh, yeah. Why did it have to be raining? Okay, right, it stopped raining. Unlimited power, yeah. But now I was running short on gunpowder. So the next goal was a chemistry bench. The struggle never ends. As I arrived at the cave on Kano Island, I steadily made my way in and swam through the water, snuck up to the edge and dropped down. I tried to sneak my way to the artifact only to aggro a scorpion. I tried to boil it, but invisible forces prevented me, so I just piked it to death. I had to sneak closer to lure the bats, so I managed to lure them away and sprinted in to grab the artifact, catching mega rabies. I had to run, but the infection was too great as it slowly ticked down my health, killing me. Back at my base, I realized I was going to need another vehicle to get back, so I made myself the helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Aye. Bye. <laughs> Taking off and flying all the way back, landing outside, I parked a chopper, sprinted through the hall, dived through the water, and parachuted down to my corpse. Gathering my stuff, there were some more bats blocking the exit, so I sprinted past them, only to fall off the edge. No, 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 Make it, make Ah! Uh, but at least they're no longer in the way. 
So I ran back up the pass and escaped out of the cave to fly home in the helicopter. I needed to get the three artifacts for the broodmother, but I still wanted some more equipment. So I harvested up some more crystal from the lava cave, spent some more time playing Club Penguin with my pike, then headed home where I made up some scuba kits as I needed silica pearls. When as I was heading off to kill some more trilobites, I had an intrusive thought. Question, can the helicopter go into water or do I get kicked out? Okay, I get kicked out. Okay, that's good. Uh, have I just sunk my helicopter? <laughs> it sinks and I can't get it out. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, it seems to be like bobbing. Can I, can, can I ride it? If I, or... Yes, I got it out. <laughs> you guys thought I was going to lose the helicopter. <laughs> With the sun still rising for day 18, I drove my Humvee straight into the ocean. Okay, I realize this is not the most realistic experience, but maybe I'll commission a submarine to be added to the mod if enough of you subscribe to the channel. As I zipped around the ocean in my Subma V, I found some silica pearls on the ocean floor, but with an Alpha Meg coming for me, I had to leave. That's an Alpha Megalodon. Okay. Gotta get get back to the Tumvi. Oh. I set up a chemistry bench once I was back home. This was going to be incredibly useful to make the gunpowder I will need for all the ammunition, as I was going to need thousands of bullets for the Humvee. I crafted up some grappling hooks in the morning and flew over to the lava cave entrance. Making my way in, I prepared my grappling hook and jumped to parachute while grappling my way along. Grappling over lava and jumping over gaps, I grabbed the artifact and sprinted past the remaining creatures, only to get to the final stretch as I ran out of stamina. Oh no, stamina, no. Bad timing, bad timing. Oh, hi dollars, bad timing. No, I'm out of grapple. <laughs> I'm fine. Perfectly fine. I didn't panic you. I got out and back into the helicopter to fly home, and Chaotic doubted me. One down, two to go. I set up a cooking pot so I could make some medical brews, and with a full set of new gear and equipment, as well as plenty of Scar L ammunition, I arrived at the next cave and made my way into it. Mowing down some bats with the 5.56 ammo I got to the artifact of the clever. Only one remains and then the fight against the broodmother can take place. So I drove over to it in my Humvee and this cave was a lot more stressful as I desperately tried to mow down the snakes, bats and centipedes. Even taking a short nap to recover my strength. But pushed through, grabbed the artifact and sprinted out the cave to get back to my Humvee and head home. Grabbed my 6,000 bullets for the Humvee and drove straight over to the green obelisk. Placed in the artifacts and teleported to the broodmother's lair, only for my Humvee to be killed as we arrived in the arena. Oh. Um. Yeah, sorry, my Humvee never came into the boss arena. <laughs> <laughs> I sprinted to get away from the spider, and I thankfully had a spare Humvee, so deployed it and jumped in. Get in the vehicle. Where we go? <laughs> that could have ended badly. I began to fire hundreds upon hundreds of bullets at the spider, dodging around the arena as I filled the spider with lead. My mounted gun was working overtime as bullet after bullet were fired into the spider queen. As the spider's health grew lower, I continued to mow it down with rounds of ammunition, finally killing the spider. And as I was teleported out of the arena, my Humvee was destroyed yet again. Guess I'm running home on foot. Up hills, down cliffs, through the water, finally arriving home in the evening to end off the day. One boss down, two to go. And then it is time for the tech cave. Since I had lost my Humvee, I was going to need a new vehicle. So I made myself the armored carrier. A six wheel drive beast with two machine gun turrets and a rocket turret on top. I set up a tree platform and some sap taps in the morning, as I wanted the sap to make absorbent substrate for a gas mask. Crafted up a bunch of bullets and rockets for the armored carrier, 
it was so powerful. I loved it. I made myself the absorbent substrate and set up some crop plots and a toilet. The toilet is so I can make a ton of fertilizer for the crop plots. Yeah, this is just regular arc things. I also gave myself the appropriate haircut and used my own hair to make some bug repellent. Then flew off to the swamp cave. I had to fight off some flying ants that aggroed before I used my repellent, but this cave was absolutely infested. There were hundreds of thousands of mosquitoes, and I was so glad to have that bug repellent. So quietly made my way to the artifact with no problems other than getting lost, but grabbed it and sprinted my way out of the cave before flying home in the helicopter. Easy cave. Easy cave. Dee -dee 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 the next cave in my sights was the Caverns of Lost Hope, a watery cavern full of sharks, jellyfish, and mosasaurus. My all-terrain armored carriage just allowed me to zoom straight through the tunnels, mow down the sharks with the turrets, and grab the artifact. Turns out military power is pretty good. So with the second artifact in hand, I began to travel to arrive at the Upper South Cave, the location of the artifact of the pack, and made my way in. Grappling over gaps and filling spiders with lead to kill them. Sprinting past bats as I slowly made my way deeper into the cave. I was then about to dive into the water as a sarco came for me. So I grappled to the ceiling so I could kill it. After swimming through one of the tunnels, I realized how low my supplies were. Honestly, didn't expect this cave to take this lock. A lot of grapples, a lot of bullets. So I tried to swim through the final tunnel, only for piranhas to munch my ass, killing me off. So I spent the rest of the day just recrafting everything at my base in preparation of redoing the cave. Flew back over and the helicopter sped through the tunnels with grapples pulling me along, filling the sarcos with lead until one final grapple pulled me next to the artifact. I had some final bats to kill, one of which gave me mega rabies, but this time I had med bruise. Then after that, it was a simple run up the paths and flight home in the helicopter. I then made up hundreds of rockets as I had a plan for a new vehicle to fight the Megapithecus. This is the missile truck. Eight wheel drive, five powerful rocket launchers and able to dish out some extreme damage. <laughs> With a couple hundred rockets, I began the drive across the entire arc, over mountains and through the forest, arriving at the blue obelisk terminal. It was time to take on the big monkey. So teleporting in, I climbed in my missile truck and drove up the steps to face the monkey and fired my rockets. I began to drive donuts around it, firing rocket after rocket. The monkey was getting low as I dodged boulder after boulder. When Azul's almost dead, I let it get too close as I fired the rockets and blew up too close, destroying my missile truck with me in it. Shot it from too close and blew up my truck. <laughs> Well, that was an epic fail. The next few days was collecting artifact, 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 and back to the blue obelisk and spawning into the arena. This monkey was going down and drove up to mass fire rockets in its face. Rocket after rocket, dodge after dodge, slowly but surely damaging the gorilla, eventually firing one last time, defeating the giant monkey. I made a new rifle in the morning and this was the AKM, a 7.62 automatic assault rifle. With the new rifle, flew off to begin my quest for the final three artifacts for the dragon, starting with the Scarlord Cave. So parking outside, I made my way in, blasting the Onik in the way, grabbing the artifact and just leaving. Quick and easy, but the next two caves are the hardest on the island. First up, we were about to get a little wet as I parked on the beach and climbed into my armored carrier and made my way into the depths of the hard water cave. Dozens of sharks, tussos, mosa and jellyfish, but my armored carrier zoomed past all of it. I found the hole I had to descend into where I was able to grab the artifact nice and easily. I had to get out though before I was swarmed as dozens of fish blocked my exit. So I pushed past, finally escaping out of the cave. Once I was home, I grabbed more supplies as the final cave was notoriously difficult. This is the Hard Ice Cave. Yeah, I see a Yeti, level 285, 11k health, right at the door. Home to Artifact of the Strong, dozens of bears, hundreds of Prolovias and Yetis with tens of thousands of health. 
This was going to be a slugfest as I snuck my way in, crawling under the choke point before sneaking up to the clearing and deploying my armored carrier. Holy crap, these guys are doing 500 damage a hit. I barely managed to kill off the swarms of creatures at the entrance, and I began to make my way through blasting down the yetis, bears, and prolobius. There were so many creatures, and the armored carrier was incredibly damaged. But I came to a section where there was a huge gap in the path. I have found a problem. There's a section where it looks like you have to jump. Tanks don't jump. Yep. It's a good thing you brought that backup tank with you because you were prepared. Especially considering I just got my tank stuck in a crystal. Well, guess I'm using my spare tank now and deployed it on the other side of the gap to mow down even more hordes of creatures until finally making it to the chamber of the artifact of the strong. Grabbing the artifact. That, this artifact is for the dragon and it's next to a giant monkey, monkey shrine. Right. Now it was simple to make my way back out the way I had come when I got to the very last room only to get a hit with what I didn't think was possible. I got stunned out the truck. Oh no, 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 Well, that sucks. After getting back to the caves, I blindly ran in and was able to get close enough to grab my stuff with the SS transfer tool. But my armored carrier was no more. Okay, well, artifact acquired. But I guess I'm going to need a new vehicle to fight the dragon with then. And I think I have just the thing in mind. I needed some more electronics so some tech parasaurs were sacrificed for my cause. Then with my supplies made myself the jet. Taking it off felt awesome zooming through the skies but it felt like it was missing something. So I made a short runway and ladder up to the cockpit. Hell yeah, let's go fight a dragon. So as I placed in the artifacts and began to teleport into the arena, climbing into the jet and immediately taking to the skies as I fired my rockets at the dragon. I had to be incredibly careful as the jet is purely a glass cannon. On my practice runs I found the dragon was able to one shot the jet, so any mistake would cost me my life as I had not yet been able to kill it. So as I zipped around the arena firing rockets and spraying my machine gun, slowly but surely flying around the arena with the dragon shooting fireballs while I shot my rockets. Rocket after rocket, fireball after fireball. I had to be so careful as any mistake would mark the end of my jet, but I was not giving up as its health grew lower and lower. My, my jet even ran out of stamina midway through the fight. It clearly belongs to me, but I recovered quickly enough before the fireball got to me as I shot back into the skies to continue my onslaught of lead and gunpowder until one final barrage killed the fire-breathing lizard. Hell yeah, that was so damn intense. Three guardians of the island all defeated with the power of steel, gunpowder, and freedom. There is one final challenge for my journey, and that is the tech cave. But I was going to need a new vehicle in order to make my way through. After a few days of resource grinding, I finally had everything I need. And the vehicle I was going to be using was a tank. 50 tons of pure steel, power, and destruction. As I climbed into my chopper for what I believed to be the final time with an absolute arsenal in my pockets, multiple vehicles, hundreds of rounds of ammunition, rocket shells, and supplies, landing outside the tech cave before placing in the three guardians trophies to open up the door, then started by climbing into my tank as an allosaurus charged straight for me. But I was able to kill it though there was an issue. If creatures got too close to me, I would take damage from my own rockets. So I shot some dinos from a distance to aggro them into the lava. I began to make my way deeper into the cave till I got to a cliff where I was able to just blast down the many creatures trying to kill me. With them all dead, I ramped off and continued forwards until a Therizino aggroed onto me and charged in. It lodged itself under the tank so by me shooting it, it severely damaged the tank. Okay, I may have to switch over to a new vehicle. This tank, it's great and all, but I don't think it's the right 
vehicle for the job. I'm sorry, Tank. You're being left behind. So I deployed a Humvee to continue forwards in the cave. We're going to need something speedier. I killed off some Therese, Rexes, and Megalosaurus. There we go. Get rid of both of you. Thank you. Okay. Humvee is much more effective. Like, able to just go a lot quicker. Mow down these creatures that are coming. Yeah, do your raw Rex. That's fine. You're not keying through. Come on, Sleepy. Oh, you have a lot of health. Oh, and you're out the wall, coming out the walls. No. No, it's eating the corpse and healing. <laughs> oh, there is a block in the path. Mow it down. Mow it down. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Connor's on my ass. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Spray bullets, spray! Burn! Fire! Fire! <laughs> oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, gotta get out of this lava. Humvees are not made for lava. I mean, it didn't even come with an aircon. Woo! <laughs> what did I? I'm fine. Oh crap, there is Eda's coming. No! Um, where'd they go? There they are. Nope, not you too. I'm just going to go past. Oh, uh, gotta move. Gotta move. I know I'm going backwards right now, but realistically, I need to just get away. And thankfully, there's no Giga. That's good. I don't even know if a Giga spawns on Gamma. You know what? We're just gonna full send it. Go! Rab to victory! Oh, crap. Uh-oh. 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 There is a Giga! No! No, 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 no. Ah! Ooh. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. Humvee's dead. Gotta go. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, jump across the lava. Jump, jump, jump. Get through the gate, get through the gate. <laughs> oh boy. It's fun. So we've lost a tank, we've lost a Humvee. So with the completion of the tech cave, having suffered the loss of two vehicles already, I activated the terminal and teleported up to the Overseer's space station. Let's head to the Overseer. I deployed my missile truck as I prepared to drive the final bit to the Overseer as the floating diamond activated itself. So I fired my rockets, a bit prematurely, but that happens to everyone occasionally. I had to start moving, us risk being swarmed by the droidikas. And game got to dodge. Cause I don't think I can do much about the minions cause they are going to get too close to me. Oh God, I can't barely jump at this floor. Why is my truck glitched? Is it just the floor? truck's like broken like look at this it's just not turning i feel like this humvee this missile truck's not gonna work i think i have to change to the armored carrier so i deployed the armored carrier but it felt a bit weird what <laughs> um <laughs> It did right itself after jumping out and in again, but the fight was on, starting to decimate the droidikas with my turrets. I was having to click so much it was insane. 
I tried firing rockets at the overseers and began to morph into its first transformation, the Megapithecus. It dealt so much damage to my armored carrier, so I abandoned it and ran to deploy a new one, shooting down some drones with my assault rifle, and in the fresh carrier, I continued to blast the overseer with my bullets. Die, you alien scum! Finally dealing enough damage, it shifted into its new form, the dragon. Die, dragon! Oh boy, I think dragon's scary. Dragon's scary, dragon's scary, dragon's scary. Oh, don't bite me. Oh, you hurt. You hurt a lot. Bam, click. The carrier was getting low on health as I abandoned it yet again for a fresh vehicle to continue shredding through the dragon's health, clicking hundreds of times. I needed a new strategy. But I finally killed the dragon as bullets continued to drain when it decided to shapeshift yet again. So I abandoned another carrier. I'm running out of vehicles here. Gotta go, 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 gotta go. Oh, that hurts a lot. My finger was getting so tired, so I paused the game and installed an auto clicker. Maybe with an auto clicker. There we are. That's the damage. Boom! Gotta save my ammunition. <laughs> Auto clicker for the win! <laughs> I mean, hey, they're doing it in Minecraft PvP. I should be fine. <laughs> Mow him down! Die! The boss shape shifted yet again back into the Megapithecus. Uh, 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 she does so much damage. Go, 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 quick, 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 quick. Um, running low. Got less than a thousand bullets left. Come on, this is it. This is it. We can do this. I still have one more, have one more missile track I can try. Like, if I need it. Kill it! Kill it! Yes! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! No, don't leave me behind! I'm coming! I'm coming! We going to ascend! Beating arc with uh, using tanks. I'm excited. Thank you all for watching hope you guys have enjoyed if you did check out this video youtube really recommends it you will really enjoy it and oh yeah we're ascending by island we are off to a new adventure